What's up, everybody? It's your main man, Yahi from Children of Israel out here, back again with another video and breakdown. So I finally got a chance to sit down and observe the Nipsey Hussle funeral. Up front, man, a lot of bad acting, okay? First and foremost. Now, numbers don't lie. Colors are always accurate, and body language tells a lot. The first thing I did was zeroed in on the three people that were public. I didn't really pay attention to his mom. It's kind of gave her a pass out of respect. But these three here, when they spoke, I noticed the colors, blue, white, black. That's Zionist Israel. Okay. Now the question is, was it a funeral or was it a ceremony? People say psyop, but it's really a bringing up ceremony. Somebody's moving up. And that's why I mentioned in my first video about this, yeah, I think Laura took him out. She did receive the energy from it, but I believe it was more ceremonial. Now, is somebody going to be a sacrifice, blood sacrifice? Has to be. It never fails. But let's go over these numbers. Now, my initial question was, was he a brother? I didn't mean black. When I said brother, I meant Freemason, the brotherhood. I should have been more specific. Okay? And my answer now is, absolutely, he's part of the brotherhood, one way or another. Okay? <laughs> the question is, where is he? <laughs> um, that basketball court was just telling. It just revealed a lot to me. When I saw this mural, right away, I did a few breakdowns. Enough, I focused on his shoulders. And I got A-T-H-O, and that spells out oath. And oath equals 44, and that's kill Chaos Disaster. Okay? And what oath do you take in the music industry or acting, Hollywood? You take the Masonic Oath. So I put Mason in. Of course, I got 62. But I focused on the TH. That's in the middle of his chest. That's, that's significant. Okay? When I put the TH in, I got 28. Same as uh, Masonry. And Masonry is 62, but one of the values is uh, 28. But I got a reverse ordinal of 26. And that can vibrate into 62. So that's what I was looking for. I knew something was up. Um, fake news colors. You see Tia Coleman who lost a whole family in a duck boat accident in Missouri. Totally fabricated. Now, the young lady who was doing the interviews in front of his smart store, okay, which is probably going to endorse the microchip soon. It was purple and gold everywhere she moved. And that was a heads up. So I compared her to the Denver mural. Of course, it lined right up. And as you can see, she switched clothes, came out, and actually the same colors were in both pictures if you look good. They just switched them out a little bit. Still got the brown, black, purple, and yellow. Same as Tia Coleman. Okay? Same old tricks. And people are going to say, yeah, well, you know, that's L.A., the L.A. Lakers. Nah, man. Riding the beast. You see, they put an emphasis on the purple and yellow, brown and black, because that's about the coming king. Nipsey represents the beast. If you go down, you'll see that the boy in blue is controlling the beast and the person that's over the beast. So the blue or black and book bag always represent Zionist Israel. This whole ceremony is a sigh by Zionist Israel. Look at the numbers. Look at the codes. Okay, I'll put this up there, freeze it, and go back to it if you need it. Question. Hey, Lauren, where the hell is Nipsey? Because <laughs> we know you know. All right? It's a Masonic party. Watch these numbers. The numbers reveal everything, I promise you. Okay? She should have got actor of the year. She probably will get it. Okay? Now, she took Nipsey out in my previous uh, post, but comes out, it's looking like it was more ceremonial. Doesn't mean she doesn't receive the energy, but there will be a sacrifice, trust me. Lauren read a letter she wrote on January the 21st. January 21st to March 31st is 69 days. She mentioned she was worried about her two-year-old son, Cross. Also, she emphasized, Nipsey always said, make sure you keep 10 toes down. So I'm looking for numbers. I got 69, 2, and 10, and that was significant. So I put it in the calculator, and the time between January the 21st 
and March 31st is 69 days, okay? The letter to his death, and that's two months, 10 days. Two-year-old, 10 toes down. That simple. And it was a royal arch she was referring to. And really, when you say royal arch or 6'9", indirectly, you're saying 666. And I showed you that with the CERMs. Now, the guy in back of her represented the officer. Head tilted, eye in the middle of the screen, just like the all-seeing eye. His chain represents the status of the officer. And her sunglasses double as the bow tie, okay? That's why she's between two pillars. And she put her hands on her hips a few times to reference uh, the Masonic composite square. Uh, Nicki Minaj does that, does that a lot. All right? Samuel's Grammy performance. So his brother did a little bit of acting too. A lot, maybe. Okay? Let's get into it. Now, whenever you uh, are trying to figure out who's representing Zionist agenda, look for the colors. It's black, blue, gray, and silver. The clothes and accessories, hat, head covering, bag or briefcase represent robbing America's economy and umbrella protection from war or rain. So we saw all that with Nifty's uh, pictures and all that stuff. But watch his brother. What is he wearing? Following his, following his brother's hearse, he's wearing a book bag. That's awkward to me. I've been to enough funerals. Okay. Um, now, that represents what? Rob America. 23. Now, watch what happens when I put his name in geometry calculator. What comes up? 23. He's the one with the book bag representing Zionist agenda. Rob America, Star Wars, and get out. So this entire thing is a psyop, but it's a Zionist ceremony psyop. Okay? Lesser magic. They're showing you what they're going to do before they do it. Groucho Marx, the jokester. So we're not really finished with his brother yet. He caught my attention. I'm like, man, he looks kind of funny to me. You know? Not to be insulting anybody, but... I like, he reminds me of that R. Kelly deal. Where R. Kelly had the whole... Cigar in his mouth, Groucho Marx. And I told individuals he was going to get out of jail continuously because he's connected. He's in the brotherhood. And Groucho Marx is a comedian, a Jewish comedian that was known for his wit, outsmarting people. So they tend to put that face and that mask in their fake news to insult Americans. And they did it in the confrontation between the Native American and the high school kids. They did it inside the um, Donald Trump Rose Garden speech. They do it all the time. A lot of people don't catch it. So then we got Farrakhan. So that made me go, hmm. So they're really trying to win the people over. And the question is, for what? Okay. Everybody's talking about joining the world together. I ain't with that. <laughs> I ain't with it. I'm sorry. All right. If you go to the seven-minute mark, through the 10-minute mark, Louis Farrakhan mentioned Russell Westbrook's 2020 triple-double. And he also mentioned the mark of the beast, Revelations 13, 18. Just another esoteric way of saying 38 or 8, 11. All right. Here's the wisdom or here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of man. And his number is 600, three score and six. And he made sure he said three score means six. So everybody that came up to speak says 666. And six is not a bad number. I'm tired of people saying six is evil. It ain't evil. All right, people are evil. Snoop Dirty Dog. Now, remember what I said. Everybody came up there and made a reference to Triple Six. Snoop's speech uh, at the seven minute mark. Snoop mentioned Nipsey encouraged him to start Doggy Land theme park. Snoop mentioned numbers five, six, six. Five, six, 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 or five, eighteen. 5 and 18 equals 23. 5 and 8 equals 58. 23 equals what? Rob America, get out of town. 58 equals Freemason or Freemasonry in Dramatria. 666 equals the mark of the beast. So Snoop was talking in codes the entire time. Okay? <laughs> he was acting like he was messing up when he was speaking. I wrote down everything he said. Shooting at the funeral in LA. A little 4 and 44. Now, if you look up LA and uh, calculate what comes out 13, 4, 41, and 14. All right, they said one dead, three injured, 13. Then they said one dead, four injured, 14, or 41. So they were just making up numbers that came out the calculator. The shooting occurred at 6.25 p.m. on 103rd uh, and Main Streets. So 6.25 is 13, and 103 is 13. 
duality, all right? Uh, age is 30 to uh, 50. That's 35, or deception, okay? 25 and uh, page 6, that's 76, or 13, B system. And then you got 216, all right, at the bottom. That's 666. Now, if you look in the calculator, what do all these uh, words have in common? Shooting, ceremony, kill, doggy land. They were just talking in codes, man. 44, all right? That's kill, death, disaster, all right? And 444 has multiple meanings, right? And you put Israel and Judah in, Judah, the fourth tribe, 444. And I told you, one of the ceremonies, 444, means Judah will cause death or disaster, okay? Chaos ceremony. And what happens? Israel is 44 and Judah is 44 because wherever Israel go, Judah goes too. They fight together, okay? They fight together, period. And when you rouse up Judah, you rouse up the rest of the tribes. Brothers fight together. That's why I ask who will rouse up Judah. You mess with Judah, you mess with everybody. Zionists play both sides, right? Pseudo problem solvers. Look at Stevie Wonder. It says Stevie calls for better gun control at Nipsey's memorial. Now, here's the funny thing. The same time between his death and his funeral, they lifted a ban on uh, high-capacity magazines. <laughs> Why would they do that? Why would they sell high-capacity magazines? And they did it on 4, 5. And it lasted, I believe, a week. And now they have another thing they did, February the 2nd, where the armies were practicing with uh, Black Hawk helicopters and all that stuff, uh, uh, imitating invasions. Ishtar, Queen of Heaven. Now, if you look up, Ishtar comes out to what? 42. And if you go to 42 on a list I gave you, what does it represent? African diaspora or the Israelites. Okay? And yes, they do refer to black people in this ceremony as 42 are the real Jews. So don't argue with me. Now, I saw this picture in his funeral. I was like, oh man, that's got to be cropped because I know what it represents. All right? Same picture from us, same picture from Shazam. That represents Ishtar. Okay? Now, I'm going to show this to you because this is the quantum half of the ceremony. All ceremonies have to be ran. First picture of the black hole. When did it happen? April the 10th, right before his funeral because they were celebrating. It says, into the abyss, the first image of a black hole. What does abyss mean? A deep or seemingly bottomless chasm. Okay? I told you one of the New World Order ceremonies is CERN. Now, look at that picture. That's where you get the Ishtar from, the Ishtar picture from. It mimics it. Extra dimensions, gravitons and tiny black holes. Now watch this. Now I told you a long time ago, now your name represents CERN. You see the CERN symbol up there? What is it about? Black holes. All right? Now, look at the CERN and look at Ananya's name. Okay? Now notice this picture was in Nipsey's funeral. It's called the key to the bottomless pit. That's one of the keys to the bottomless pit. That's one of the understandings of it. All right. Now, if you look at the scripture. It says what? To him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit and smoke arose out of the pit like smoke of a great furnace. All right. That can apply to different time spans. Prophecy doesn't stop. It keeps rolling over and it applies to different time spans. Right. So a gun today would be a, 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 a arrow and our terms would be a gun. You follow me? So the bottomless pit in science is CERN. So that's what I got out of his funeral, man. Children of Israel, I hope you guys got a little something. Thank you guys for donations. I love you guys, man. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. The quantum ceremony to New World Order is CERN and Nanya Ishtar, like I told you in the last video. And they keep showing it. All right? Stay prayed up. Peace.